This is probably gonna look way more dramatic than it needs to be, but hi. It's currently September 30th, about 8 p.m. Hence the sunset, and these mosquitoes are finna eat me alive. This video is gonna be a little different. Cause this month I set a lot of goals for myself that I wanted to achieve. This ain't just me updating. This is also a chance for you guys to get thrown into the mix as well, but I'll get to that. I had a total of six goals for myself. I don't exactly remember what they were, but I remember a couple of them. So we'll see if they, you know, get jumbled up and I remember eventually. Number one, I wanted to hit 1K by the end of September. I don't know why I thought I'd be able to do this. I was about 850, 860 before I decided to do this. So it was a big, you know, that's a big jump. 200 subscribers within a month and a, or about 150 subs within a month. That's, that's pretty big. It's a lot to do, which kind of segues into number two. I wanted consistency to come back. Now, I just turned 18, so my life got kind of thrown into the deep end. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying this to try to sound, you know, pitiful or anything. I'm just saying this because it's true. That little section of life when you get out of high school and you turn 18 and it's all of a sudden your life's up to you. It's kind of a shell shock. It really hits you. And that's what the three last last three months were supposed to be. It's just kind of a relax. I say three months, man. It's four months now. Ugh. So I want a consistency to come back. Not just to YouTube, but to my life. I wanted to be able to. I wanted to be able to actually have a schedule and stick to it. You know, I wanted to be able to function properly as an organized human being. And I know I've talked about. God damn, motherfucker! I know I've talked about this before with ADHD. And did you just quack at me, bitch? Where are you? Quack. I know I talked about this, but with ADHD, it ain't exactly easy. It's hard to be organized. It's hard to stay consistent. It's hard to stay disciplined. And that's kind of where the whole yin and yang thing came from. Yin and yang, it's the two sides of me that want to coexist, but they really can't. They're endlessly searching for balance. And that's another thing I wanted to do this month. Balance. I wanted to embrace the yang more. Be more of a kid. Enjoy life for what it is. Go out and do shit like this with friends that I do not have, by the way. But damn, we got close to that 1K goal though, right? We had nine, what, 38, 930? That's crazy. We about to hit that for a second time. Where did you come from? Damn. I was segueing away from me and all my BS. What about you guys? How'd y'all's month go? You have any goals? Anything you try to achieve? Didn't end up working out? Cause fucking saying. I don't know, this is gonna be a start of a series every month. That's my challenge to myself. Every month, I wanna be able to sit down and talk to you guys as humans. Not just viewers, not just I'm the creator, you guys are the watchers, not just here for a fun time. You're here to congregate with other people who are like you, who have similar ambitions, similar goals. And that's what this channel was meant to be, rise above all that. And I ain't done anything about that recently. So I figured it was time to change that. This is gonna sound cringy and I don't know how I'm gonna implement this in the future, but I wanted to kind of do like a, a daily word, or, you know what I mean? But for a month, monthly word, I wanted this month to be balanced. Being able to actually balance your life out, whether that be from your work and your fun life or your, actually that's the only example I can think of. <laughs> Maybe that's just cause it's more personal, but balance. It'll get you so much further in life than you think it will. I want y'all to be able to find that peace with yourself where you're not senselessly doing anything because you can, but there's no purpose to it. Or you're working your life away and there's little to zero enjoyment in life. I've seen both of those sides in the last year or so. Year or two, two years? No, that's a fucking lie. The last four years, I've seen both sides of that. Of being able to work your fucking life away endlessly. No breaks, no fun, no time for any of that. It's just work. Or some people call this being lazy, but for me it was more of a hibernation period. Would you not fucking quack it? I'm still working on it. It's just something to keep in mind. Balance. I had a third goal, by the way. Third goal was I wanted to do daily journal entries every day for a month which I made it about three weeks in, all right? I made it three weeks in before I fumbled. But yeah, evidently I did fail. Uh, I missed a couple of days every now and then and I would write extra pages to make sure I made up for it, but I fell off. God damn. 
And part of that has to do with the lack of ADHD medication, although I don't want to fully blame myself and my failures on a lack of stimulants that are supposed to make my brain function properly. I feel like that has heavy impact on it, as well as the fact that I'm actually not, I'm not mad about where I am right now, which is a first, because for a very long time I was just stuck, you know. I was always mad, frustrated that I couldn't get out of the situation. And right now it's somehow on paper, I'm doing worse than I was when I was angry. But I just feel so much greater. I don't know how to explain it. It's cringy, I know, shut up. It'll get less cringy as time progresses. <laughs> I want everybody here to be successful. And I know my words have very little credibility given my current status. I've been at this for four years and we still barely even got, we not monetized yet, you know? And I don't want that to be a checkpoint of success, but to be a back of my mind, it still is. I want y'all to make this next month the best month you can possibly make it. Don't compare yourself to anybody other than your past self. That's your only competition, truly. You start to think, man, I gotta be better than that guy, I gotta be better than that guy, when in reality, you don't. It takes time. You got it, though. From here on out, I'm not gonna function strictly based off of work nor am I going to slack off and enjoy myself too much. I'm going to do both. I'm going to allow myself to enjoy my own existence, but also I'm going to work my ass off. I'm going to show you motherfuckers as possible to do whatever you want to do. It's all up to you. Don't forget that. No one's going to do it for you, so you better do it right. I'm going to end my rambling session with thank y'all for still being here. And I'll see you here at this random ass location next month. Rise above, motherfuckers. Remember, you human. They all looking at me weird. <laughs> Adios.